Okay, so this video is going to be in regards to the Predator 1-inch uh, water pump that you can get from Harbor Freight. Um, I was kind of curious about maybe turning this thing into a uh, gas software system. So what I did is I picked one up. Um, I did a little bit of testing, found out that it's only making about 60 PSI of uh, water pressure. But uh, when you're pushing it through a half inch hose reel using five eighths water hose at about 125 feet. I'm only getting about nine and a half gallons per minute coming also through a blue wash down gun. So the way I've got it set up is I'm just using, this is my bleach tank. So I'm just using one inch unit seals with one inch PVC going all the way down to the bottom with a 90 degree fitting one inch hose going into a, sorry about the sun, one inch proportioner that I got from uh, Softwash Depot. Uh, one inch on the bleach, one inch on the water, and then I broke this off a little bit ago actually, just trying to mess around with it. Uh, that's gonna be a quarter inch hose barb down here going to half inch. And then uh, one inch out of the proportioner going to the water pump, one inch going from the water pump to a uh, half inch Hane hose reel. And then I've got that reduced down to a or sorry, I've got that going out from half inch to five eighths uh, flexible water hose. I figured this would have been fine uh, at 60 PSI. It's really, it's held up fine, just fine. And then going out to a uh, blue washdown gun. Like I said, I've done a bucket test. I'm not gonna do it in this video. Uh, if anybody actually wants to see those results, I'll make another video and post that. I just wanted to make this quick and short and go ahead and make a video demonstrating how everything is working. Um, you can get about 50, right at 50 feet out of this with 125 feet of hose. Uh, if I hook up my extension of another 125 feet here to this, I've only dropped maybe about a foot, a foot or two. It really doesn't drop at all. So, I mean, on a, a house, a two-story house here, this is, uh, you can hit right at the, sorry, the sun's there. You can hit right at the peak just over a little bit. So it's perfectly capable of doing a two-story roof. I have no problems at all. Three stories, you're going to get up on a ladder. There's just no way. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get it started up, and I'll show you guys how this is going here. Okay, so I'm about 120 feet away from my uh, trailer here. That was another blue wash down gun. Still one inch over freight, I can see that. That's why we're here on my So, blue wash down gun, nine and a half gallons a minute. It's got really good flow, still enough pressure and everything. So I cannot complain with this at all, and I've been testing it for a few days. I'm just spraying water here, but when it's pulling bleach, it pulls fine, soap fine. It works just as you would want it to, exactly like an AR-45 or a P-40. You can go house washing with this. It does perfectly fine. You can spray windows. One story peaks, no problem. A little bit of a fan spray pattern, no problem at all. Two story. Hitting it, no problem. Not sure how well you can see on video, but maybe if I come over here, I'm gonna swap pans as well. Two story house here. able to stand down here on the ground without a ladder spray right at the top no problem actually I might be spraying just a little bit over as well so no problem hitting the roof and I've had the same amount of flow 
the whole time. Good pressure. You want to do a heavy post treat or just a free treat or anything like that, there's no problem putting it down. Water the grass if you want. There you go, guys. One inch predator water pump through proportioner works just fine. Quick note, guys, I forgot to mention before. Um, this pump was just running. I left it running for about 10 minutes. Uh, it's it's cold. No bypass or anything. I did try doing a bypass. Uh, let me find. There you go. I tried doing a bypass with an adjustable pressure regulator. Uh, the problem with that is it will bypass. However, it won't bypass correctly. So it's still, it would, even when I'm on the trigger, it would still bypass and it wouldn't, even with the, the pressure adjusted, I've adjusted it to separate, separate different settings and it would just not give me the full flow. It just wanted to keep bypassing no matter what, or it just wouldn't bypass at all, depending on the pressure setting. So with this being, I think it's a centrifugal pump design. It just won't, it won't really overheat. Uh, not saying that you'd want to stay off the gun too long or anything like that, but I've had minutes where customers have been out there talking to me for five, 10 minutes and the pump never got hot. It's perfectly fine. It runs fine. Uh, this, I've ran 5% mixtures of bleach through here, roof washes, house washing, uh, heavy post treats on concrete. I'd flush them out every time. I always do that with any of my pumps anyway. It holds up just fine for right now. I plan on doing a uh, update video in the future just to show if it breaks or uh, if something catastrophic fails. Uh, I do plan on making an update regardless. So that will be out probably within the next couple of months. Uh, I want to give it some time at least just to make sure that everything's working just fine. Uh, but yeah, uh, I appreciate you guys checking this video out and hopefully, uh, you know, not, not to shed light on anything, but you know, maybe if anybody was interested like I was, and maybe you want to make a budget friendly soft wash gas soft wash system, there you go. That's how you can do it right there. But thanks for checking me out guys. Appreciate it.